Okay, today we're replacing the control cable or the throttle cable on this push mower. I uh, just rusted through sitting outside too long, too much of its life. No big deal. Just picked up a spare part, a genuine MTD part from Amazon, 10 bucks, no big deal. But uh, the first thing you're going to want to do, and this is whenever I do any work on a push mower or anything, is I pull the spark plug wire off the spark plug. It just helps keep it from starting and chopping one of your limbs off or whatever. But uh, after that, you're going to take your cover off here with your recoil starter. This one takes three 5 16 bolts. Easy enough. And you can take your cover and take it right off. What this gives you access to is the engine side of the cable. So you're going to squeeze those two tabs in on the plastic and pull it through. And then that'll just twist on out of there. Okay, I just cut those tabs with a small pair of wire cutters. So you can pull the plastic out, put the cable through the groove, twist it down, and that comes out of the hole on the lever. Okay, up at the top here, there's just a plastic piece. You bend it on an angle and it pops out. There's a little plastic hook that hooks into the handle. And up at the top where it connects to the handle, same deal, just comes right out. Okay, to install, take your end with the plastic hook, that's the top part, and it goes into the same hole on the handle. Push it in, twist it, and you can take this end of the cable, run it up to the handle, into the hole, like such. Now for the lower half, just run the cable down the inside of the handle. You might want to zip tie that up if you want to. Down for down here, take your cable, slide it through the notch, insert the plastic into the metal bracket till the clips clip in. Then pull your cable and bend the little metal thing there okay I did not have to file it down but I needed two hands and I'm filming this with my cell phone so forgive me but it just goes up in the hole and now when you pull your handle oh, it works perfectly Brand new. After you're done with that, take your recoil starter, slap it on, put your bolts back in. Pinch them down. And lastly, put the boot right back on the spark plug. And you should be good to go.